What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft Forge server for Minecraft 1.15.2. This is a server that allows for the use of any Minecraft mod that supports Minecraft Forge and it allows you to play with your friends on Minecraft online with mods. The only thing about Minecraft Forge though is you can't actually use Bucket or Spigot plugins or any kind of other plugins such as PaperMC. So this is a server purely just with mods. So if if you want to have any kind of spawn protection or any kind of commands there are actually some forge mods out there that allow you to do this and add certain protections to your server. So without further ado I'm going to show you how to set up Minecraft Forge for Minecraft 1.15.2 on your game and then on the server and then that will allow you to connect to it. At the end I'm going to show you how to install mods into your server and also into your personal game so you can connect to the server. You're going to need the mods on your game and the mods on your server separately so that they're running on the server and so that you have the files to actually connect. So first of all, the links will be in the description, everything that's going to be covered in this video. We're going to go to files.minecraftforge.net and if we just expand this 1.15 point, we can go under 1.15.2 and click on the installer. So we're going to download the installer because that's actually the quickest and easiest method to do it and the installer allows us to select our game and our server so we can use it twice to install both the versions we actually need so press keep at the bottom so we can actually save the file and then what we're going to do is once it's actually finished downloading at the bottom on Google Chrome it gives you the download progress so we can just wait a few moments once it's finished downloading we're going to have to go into our downloads folder and run it now this finished downloading I'm in my downloads folder and if we just right click it and I press open with and then press Java we can actually run the forge installer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first of all how to install it into the game because if you don't already have forge you're not going to be able to play it on the server because we need to have mods and the only way we can install those mods ourselves is through having forge so first of all just press install client and press ok that's all you have to do the first time we run it because we need to install forge into our game first before we set up and download the whole server process so this will take a few minutes you can just wait for it it's going to have a loading bar, download all of the different jars and binaries and requirements and then it'll install it. So now you'll see that it's actually completed it. So what we're going to do is just press OK, it's installed Forge into a new profile. Press OK and it'll close it. Now we're going to make a new folder. So we're going to right click and we're going to click new and then folder and I'm going to call it MC 1.15.2 server and press enter and then I'm going to right click and open up the forge installer again with Java. Then what we need to do is press install server this time and then press these three dots. It'll ask you where you want to actually save it to so just click your name and then click on the downloads folder or wherever you've put your folder and I'm going to select the MC 1.15.2 server and press open and then just press OK and now will actually install the server files into your new server folder which you actually created and then we can actually run the server from there. Now it works exactly the same as setting up a normal Minecraft server. I have done tutorials on the normal Minecraft vanilla server in the past a few weeks ago. It works exactly the same but we do need to install mods onto this server. So I'll show you how to get mods from a certain website later and how to install them and we're going to need to do that for both our game and the server like I mentioned before. So the server takes just that little bit longer to set up so you might need to be a little bit more patient especially if you're on a slower PC because the server has a lot more files to download than the single player mod does. So when it's downloaded it'll say successfully downloaded Minecraft server and installed. Press OK and now we don't need this installer so you can go ahead and just delete it. Then go inside the folder and what we need to do now is we need to right click, press new and press text document. And then what you do is we're going to type in run.bat like that and you'll see we have a new text document. Now what we want to do with this is the whole reason we're making this is because we actually want to create a file that runs our server with the right megabytes and the right RAM. So just double click this 
and you'll see I now have a file that looks like this. Basically, we're going to save it as a .bat, which basically means a batch file, which is kind of like a command line window, which we can execute some code from. And what we're going to do, so as you can see here, we're going to use one of these. Now, it depends how much RAM you actually have on your computer and how much you want to use, which depends which one of these that you're going to select. So for an example, if you want four gigabytes of RAM, you're going to select this one. Basically, this line, XMX, and then a number here is the amount of megabytes which it's going to use for the server. So 4096 is 4 gigabytes, 3072 is 3 gigabytes, 2048 is 2, and 1024 is 1 gigabyte. So I'm just going to use 2 gigabytes. If you have a good PC with a lot of RAM, for an example, I have 16 gigabytes, then you might want to select a higher value. So I guess we could actually select 4 gigabytes in my case, but if you have a computer with only 8 gigabytes, you might want to only select 2 or 3 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm going to leave this here and you can remove this line where it says the amount of gigabytes. That's just, we don't need that. And now press file, save as, and here we want to remove this .txt and go down to all types and we want to find .bat. And you'll see batch file here, .bat, just press that and now it'll save it as a .bat file. So press save. And now you'll see that it changes all the highlights of the different text. That's just because it recognizes the commands. And I'm going to X this off. If you don't have the same notepad that I have, I have a modified version, then do download Notepad++. For an example, if I just right click the .bat and press edit, it'll open it in the normal notepad and we file save as. And you can only save it as a text document. So I would recommend using Notepad++. Plus plus. So you can delete the old .txt, we don't need that anymore, and we can run our server. So right click on the run.bat and press run as administrator, and now it will bring up a server console. So it says, unable to access jar file forge server.jar. Okay, now that's a fixable error. That's just something which we forgot to do. So press any key to continue. And if we right click on this again, you'll see that our file, which we actually created to run the server, it says to open the forge server.jar. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the actual forge that we have here and press rename and press ctrl and c and we're going to put this in here okay and put dot jar and then we're going to save it with ctrl and s and now technically if we run it as admin it should open the right thing so you'll see now that it's actually opening forge and we're going to press the any key to continue and it's created some more folders and files okay because we've actually used the right file name in the run file I'm going to open up this eula.txt and change this false to true and then press save. This is because we're agreeing to a contract to allow us to actually run the Minecraft server and then we're going to use the run.bat again and you'll see now it's going to go through some similar things and we're just going to wait until the server echoes some commands back to us and now you can see it's showing a few different things and it's showing certain things with the Minecraft server so now it's loading recipes it's loading all the advancements and when it says preparing a spawn area this basically means that the map has already generated and it's in the final stages of generating and saving the map and it's preparing all the spawn areas and the block protection so now when it says done that means that the server set up so we can close this and the next thing what you want to do is modify the server properties so like i said use notepad plus plus you can download that off the internet i'll put the link below that allows us to basically edit any file so right click on server properties and press edit with notepad plus plus and you'll see here we can actually modify certain different values so allowing flight basically means do you allow people who are not in creative mode to fly for an example so mods random players who have fly hacks you want to probably leave this off if you want it to kick people with fly cheats allowing nether just allows the nether biome and difficulty you can turn this up sometimes it might be on peaceful maybe you want to turn it down to peaceful so aggressive mobs like zombies don't spawn command block you might want to enable so you can make complex things all you do is just change the false to true if you want to enable something and archon is basically so you can use commands in the console enforce whitelist game mode survival you can just change that to creative if you want a creative mode server and you want people to spawn in creative mode and there's a few different things so level name you can change it if i change the level name to something else it'll make a new folder where it says world 
world, which is the level, it'll make a new folder with a new server level name and it'll use that level. You can change the seed. Basically, if you want to change the seed, you need to put the seed here, save it, and then delete the world folder so the server has to generate a new world and it'll use that seed because the server world's already generated. You can change the max players. Obviously, if, if you have a lower amount of RAM or a bad internet connection speed, you want to probably have a lower number of players. And the MOTD is basically the message which will show when you add it as a server to favorites. So I'm just gonna change it to welcome to the Blue Crusaders Minecraft server and that'll show now if we actually load the server. PVP is just whether you want player versus player damage. And you can change the server IP and port obviously if you open up your ports or have a custom IP which we're not gonna be doing in this video. And you can put a resource pack there if you want it to enforce and download a specific texture pack or resource pack for players when they connect. For an example, if it's a special server that only works well if you have a resource pack, that's how you do it. Spawn animals and monsters you can disable and all NPCs. You can increase the spawn protection and the view distance and enable the whitelist. So now I'm just going to press save because we've basically done all we need and I'm going to show you how we can actually install mods now. So to install mods, we're going to go to a website called CurseForge on Minecraft Mods. So basically the link will be below like everything and you want to go to the version and select the version of forge that we downloaded so in this video we're using the newest version 1.15.2 so just press that and it'll show us which mods have actually been updated now we're just going to use the biomes of plenty mod in this server so i'm going to show you how to install this now just go to the newest version 1.15.2 i'm going to download this other one and press download and I'm gonna wait for the download to start and hopefully now we'll install this as well So I'm gonna show you because this is a smaller add-on so it's a lot easier to install this So I'm gonna edit the server.properties and under level type. I'm gonna paste this and type in biomes sop Okay, that's basically biomes op biomes o plenty and press save and then I'm gonna delete the world folder So we'll generate a new world and in the downloads folder, I'm going to get the Biomes of Plenty mod. Go into the mods folder and I'm going to replace this and I'm going to paste that in there. And then I'm going to install it in my mod folder. So now we're going to run the server again and see if it loads. So now the Minecraft server is starting and you'll see that everything's loading. It's loading all the advancements, the recipes, everything from before, but it's actually remaking the map because I obviously deleted the old world in favor of the new Biomes O Plenty type. So hopefully everything should be done. And it says registering BOP commands, which I presume is Biomes O Plenty. And now to test out the server, I'm gonna open up the Minecraft launcher. You obviously will know where you've saved it. And I'm gonna try and connect to our new local server. So hopefully, now we should be able to drop straight into our server and test out all the mods. Now the first thing what you're going to need to do is the profile at the bottom left. You're going to have to select the new forge one we downloaded. So we're going to find the new forge install which should be somewhere around here. Here forge 1.15.2 okay. Just to double check I'll press edit and you'll see it says forge 1.15.2. If you can't find it you can just press on new profile and then find the forge and make a new profile like that. And we're going to play on this forge and now we should be able to actually load our mods. Okay, so now you'll see we're actually in game. If we press on mods, it says biomes are plenty. So we have the mod installed in single player and also our server successfully started. So click on multiplayer, direct connect or add server. And the server address should be localhost for your computer and the name, just give it a random name and press done. And it will add it to the bottom of your list and you'll see the message of the day, which we edited earlier. Welcome to the Blue Crusader server is now showing. So if we just connect to it and press join server, it should actually allow us to actually join the server. So now, hopefully, if I just remove this uh, x-ray resource pack from our last tutorial video, hopefully we should be able to see our new world. So now you'll see we're surrounded by everything. We've got our new world loading. And what we can do next is if we open up the run.bat, which is the server console, we can actually type in commands. So we could type in op space the blue crusader, which is the player name and press enter. And now on the server, it'll say made the blue crusader a server operator. So now that we've done this, I'm actually an operator, so I could do game mode, 
creative for an example and I've got all the commands so we can fly around so now we're on our server we've got a server with mods we have a server which is generated with biomes of plenty and we're just gonna fly around a little bit just to double check that the server mod is actually working because as far as I can see I'm pretty sure we're in a new biome right now I'm pretty sure this isn't in vanilla minecraft so I'm just gonna kind of scan around and just double check but so far I'm pretty sure the mods working so you'll see now as I'm drifting around minecraft we have some brand new biomes using a lot of vanilla blocks and biomes of plenty is clearly working so I've showed you how to set up a minecraft forge server this biome looks awesome this is definitely one of my favorites so I've showed you how to set up a minecraft forge server how to install mods into that forge server and how to connect to it so in creative mode you can just give yourself items you could also type in give the blue crusader and then one of these items you can click one of these items for an example then press space and press one and it'll give you one of whatever the item was obviously replace that code with any item id you want and any number of items you want to be given so that's how to use a few basic commands to make yourself the admin and operator and how to set up the server so if it was useful smash the like button on this video subscribe with notifications turned on and share this video to anyone who wants to make a minecraft forge server with the mods thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time